What's up, my friend Mike Robertson here. And earlier this week, we talked about giving the appropriate cue to the appropriate person. So for instance, if somebody comes in with a sway back posture and their hips are really pushed forward relative to the rest of their body, this isn't the person you wanna give a belt buckle up cue to. You give them that cue and it's only gonna reinforce or magnify the position that they're already in. So instead, we're gonna do what I call a scissor cue. So I'm gonna bring in quite possibly the cutest demo model of all time and I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, so as promised, I found quite possibly the cutest demo model of all time. But she's gonna help us demonstrate this scissor cue that I use with my sway back clients. So what Kendall is gonna do here, you can see she's in a pretty good stack position in half kneeling, whether it's a landmine press, a cable press, but a lot of times your sway backs have this tendency to really drive their hips forward relative to their shoulders. So this is where I use that scissor cue and essentially what I'll do is I will push their hips back while I'm pulling their shoulders forward. So when I do this, okay, can you do that again where you drop your hips forward? Yep. I scissor them into this position to get them stacked and back into a better alignment. So if you're working with sway back clients, go ahead, try this scissor cue, regardless of position, I guarantee it's gonna work really, really well for you.